Hey, Freddy Servant here, back with another quick video answering a business insurance question. And our question today is When should I file a claim on my business insurance? So, when should you file a claim on your business insurance policy? The short answer is as soon as possible. Now, filing a claim against your business insurance is something no one looks forward to. The idea that your small business is at risk of a loss is scary enough, or possibly having your claim being denied is worse. Even if you plan on handling the claim out of pocket or on your own, it is your contractual responsibility to notify the insurance company of any potential loss or claim. Here is one important reason that even if you decide to handle the claim outside the insurance company, it's still a smart business idea to notify the insurance company. For starters, there is no way to know in the beginning stages of a loss exactly what the damages or financial impact is. Now, your assumptions might be that the loss is small and can be handled out of pocket. However, when you get into the middle or to the end process, you come to realize that the damages are far greater than what you assumed. In this scenario, because you failed to go through the proper protocol, the insurance company could deny your claim, leaving you with the responsibility to make the other party whole. Now, you might be asking, how can an insurance company deny my claim? Written into the contracts of most business insurance policies is a stipulation called duty to defend. What this clause states is that you, the insured, must give the insurance company the ability to settle as soon as possible. Now, it's always in the insurance company's best interest to settle for the smaller amount up front than go through the entire claim and legal process. But in most cases, it's always in the best interest for you to go through the process. Here's an example. Let's assume your policy will cover you for one million dollars in liability claims now if the insurance company can settle for five hundred thousand dollars they will attempt to do so if your claim goes through the entire process and it's determined that you are liable for let's say 1.2 million dollars you are then going to be responsible for the additional $200,000 after your policy limit has been met. Another really important clause to consider when purchasing your business insurance policy is to make sure you understand how defense costs are covered. The two types of coverages are inside of limits and the other is outside of limits. Now, depending on how your insurance policy is written, will determine if you can fight the claim and settle or not. If your business insurance policy is written with outside limits, that means if you lose the lawsuit and your policy limits are exhausted, you will be responsible for the differences in damage. An example of this would be it is determined that the insurance company could settle a claim for, let's say, $10,000. If you elect to fight the claim made against you and lose, you will be financially responsible for any payout over $10,000. So we always advise our clients to have outside limits written into their business insurance the reason is that we want every dollar of your coverage going towards a possible claim payout and not towards items such as legal fees, which could eat up 
your coverage limit if you elect to go with inside limits. Another important factor to consider is knowing the time period allowed to make a claim that is written into your policy. There are two types of limits that you can elect to have when writing a business insurance policy. The first is claims made. Now, having this clause written into your business insurance means that you have a limited amount of time to file the claim and have that claim be covered by your insurance. The time is typically one to two years. These sorts of claims are often seen with contractors. So let's say you complete a job for a customer while your business is insured with a particular company. If a loss happens after the expiration of the sunset clause and it was determined it was your negligence as a contractor, your policy will not provide coverage. The second is occurrence. With this clause, there is no expiration date for claims made against an insured during the policy term. This means the claim could be made any time in the future and you could expect to have coverage assuming the loss itself is covered under the insurance policy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up or share it and go ahead and click the logo in our left corner to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We appreciate you watching and we'll see you in the next one.